Welcome to the SolidCAM Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to learn SolidCAM. In this session, we will be going through part six of our first lesson, where we will add a pocket operation to our CAM part and then run through our workflow in the operation dialog. Here we have our CAM part with a face mill and profile operation. If starting the lesson here, Please download the SolidCAM part file included with this video tutorial and open it. Please note that we have been saving all of our downloaded part files in a training folder that we've created on our C drive. Now that we've completed our face mill and profile operations, let's move on to our pocket. Let's start by right-clicking on the operations folder in our CAM manager then highlight Add Operation and select Pocket. As we can see, the workflow of setting up our current operation is very similar to the previous ones. Once again, defining our geometry is first and is also very similar to creating our profile geometry. We can click on this edge of our pocket and select Auto Constant Z. It will make a chain from all the edges that comprise our pocket. Once our geometry is accepted, we can move on to defining our tool. Once in our tool dialog, we can choose select. Rather than add a tool though, we will choose our 6mm end mill that was created for our profile operation. Next we will move on to the levels branch of our operation dialog. Our upper level will be the top of our part, and we will select the bottom of our pocket to set our pocket depth. We can leave the step down set to 3 mm, which is half the tool diameter. SolidCAM automatically defaults to this value. Now in our technology branch, we have several options for our toolpath. They are contour, hatch, hatch plus finish, or plunging pattern. By clicking one of these options, we get a visual representation of the toolpath strategy here in the lower left hand corner. For this exercise, we will leave it set to the default option, contour. Over in the offsets area, we have the option of leaving extra material on our wall, island, and floor. We also have the option to do a finish pass on the wall, the floor, or both. We are going to leave the offsets at zero and not perform any finish passes in our pocket. Next and last on our tree is Link. In the ramping area, we have several different options for how we'd like our tool to enter the pocket. When selecting an option from the drop down menu, we can see them represented graphically in the lower left hand corner. Let's choose a helical entry from the list. Finally, let's save and calculate. Then we can simulate our toolpath. Once in simulation, we will use our solid verify option again. As we single step through the simulation, we can see the tool come in and start machining our pocket. Since we left no extra material on the walls or floor, we will not see any finished passes in our simulation. Now, let's exit the simulation and the operation dialog. And this concludes part 6 of our first lesson in the SolidCAM Jumpstart series, where we've added a pocket operation to our CAM part, and then ran through our workflow in the operation dialog. Thanks again for watching. Please join us for part 7 of our first lesson, where we will add a drilling operation to our CAM part and again run through the operation dialog.